Today we're going to be discussing five keys to manifest the life you desire. Now many of you will say because of your upbringing, DiCarlo, I'm not a spiritual enough person to manifest the life I desire. I don't have the tools to manifest that type of life. Some of you would just say, I don't even believe in that manifestation stuff. Whatever the case, first and foremost, you must understand that you have been created to be a creator. What do I mean? Well, no matter what your religious beliefs are, through science and religion, what we discover is that men, women, have all been created from the same basic material. If we look at it from a biblical perspective, what we discover is that the creator of the universe said, let us create man, woman, in our own image, in our own likeness. So the first thing that we discover about the creator of the universe is that he or she is a creator. If we've been created in the image and the likeness of the creator of the universe, then we must understand first and foremost that we're creators. Many of you would say, well, there's no way in the world that I would have created the life that I'm presently living purposefully. And that's true. You're not creating purposefully. You're creating haphazardly because you don't realize, in fact, that you are a creator. And again, we're not talking religion. We're talking reasoning at this point. You can only look at your life. Just take a look at your life. And what you will, in fact, discover is that often you will think a thought and you would say, today is not going to be a great day. And at the end of that day, you said, I knew that today was not going to be a great day. You've created that day. Or you said, you know what, today's going to be a fantastic day. And what you discover is that, of course, your day turns out to be fantastic. Now, why is that? Who determined what type of day you would have? You would have to look and say, DiCarlo, I created that life. What I want to do is give you the tools so that you can purposefully create the life that you desire. It has been said in ancient texts that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Now, some of you are wondering, what in the heck does that mean? Well, it simply means this, that whatever you believe in the physical five sense realm, the spiritual realm, the psyche realm, the realm that goes unseen, your subconscious, your conscious mind begins to create that thing. What science has discovered is that the subconscious mind cannot take a joke. So even if you're not serious about the thing that you're manifesting or thinking about on a continuous basis, your subconscious mind will go about to see if it can in fact create the thing that you've imagined. Most of us are imagining lack, loss, and limitation. And of course, we're getting more of that in our lives. What I want to do is give you the tools so that you can become a purposeful creator. First and foremost, you must realize that you're creating the day in which you live. If most of you are creating unhappy circumstances on a daily basis, that's great. Because, see, you've been creating, even though it's been a lousy creation, you've been creating this. And if you can create a un happy circumstance day after day then of course you can create a happy one and so that's the excitement only thing that you need right now is the tools that will allow you to do that and I call this technology waves w a v e s and we're going to talk about each one of these steps the w in waves stands for wind down you must find a place in which you can wind down get into a comfortable chair or bed wherever it is that you can calm down and get in a relaxed state the goal of winding down is to get you into what we call an alpha state in this alpha state your subconscious mind will be more readily to accept your programming for success how do we get into this alpha state with our eyes closed look upward about 15 to 20 degrees and begin deep breathing. The whole point of this alpha state or winding down is to get you to receive the instructions at that subconscious level. The next letter in waves is A. 
and A stands for affirm. Many of you will say, well, DiCarlo, I really don't believe in that affirmation stuff. It's never worked for me. Well, we're going to try a new technique. So just bear with me as we go through this process because I promise you, if you allow the process to do what it needs to do, you're going to manifest the change that you desire. Hypothetically, let's say that your goal is to lose 110 pounds. When you begin to affirm, again, you're still going to be in that wind down state, in that alpha state. But when you begin to affirm, you're going to have to affirm in the first person I. So, for example, I now weigh my ideal weight of 110 pounds. That's going to be the affirmation. Now, of course, you can fill that affirmation in with any other affirmation that you desire. But right now, we're just going to use the tool of weight loss. Again, I now weigh my ideal weight of 110 pounds. As I stated earlier, many of you said, well, affirmations just don't work for me. We got to add something into it. We have to go to the next letter of the wave process, which is V. As you are affirming, I now weigh my ideal weight of 110 pounds, you must also see in your mind's eye your weighing your ideal weight. So sometimes what you may want to use is a old picture when you actually weighed 110 pounds. Now some of you may not have that picture. So what you can do is utilize someone else's body and place your headshot on that picture. The goal is, is to get that image into your subconscious mind because far too often many of us are working out in front of a mirror and we're overweight and that's the picture that we keep picturing. So we're affirming, I now weigh my ideal weight of 110 pounds, but we're looking at this 200 pound person and it's not lining up in our subconscious mind. So the picture that we're imaging is not the picture that our subconscious mind needs to see. So you're in a relaxed state. As you're affirming, I now weigh my ideal weight of 110 pounds, you're also visualizing yourself as that ideal weight. Now the next step in the waves process is the letter E. You have to begin emotionalizing what it is that you're seeking to manifest. You've now begun to say, I now weigh my ideal weight of 110 pounds and you're excited. You're feeling what it feels like to be that 110 pounds. You're emotionalizing it. You're visualizing it. You're affirming it and you're in your relaxed state. Now, what is the last step of the waves process to solidify and get the rapid results that you're seeking? S. And S stands for you have to begin sensing. See what that 110 pound person sees. Feel with your hands and your sensing. You have to get basically in the state. You have to become in your state that 110 pound person. So even when you're eating and the temptation is to eat like a 200 pound person, in your mind's eye you say, I eat the foods that a 110 pound person eat. I walk, I talk, I act like a 110 pound person acts. Many of us have clothed ourselves and these other people mentally and we walk around and say, that's just what people like me do, but that in fact is not who you are. You can put on any personality and become that new person immediately, but you have to follow these five steps. None of the famous people that you know today started out famous. They started out much like you. As you continue to listen to these programs each week, what you will discover is that your life will be radically transformed into the life that you have always desired. But if you want to expedite that process, please contact me by going to decarloeskridge.com. Allow me to cater for you a coaching package that will cater to your specific needs, which will enable you to get your life on track and so that you can begin living your life on purpose. I also want to offer you my gift, a free ebook called three wishes. All you desired is within you. The tools in this ebook will 
allow you to begin to transform your life into the life you have always desired. When you subscribe to that free ebook, just know this, we will not give your contact information away, we will not sell it. We will just use that contact information to continue to give you quality information that will allow you to radically transform your life. So again, go to my website, decarloeskridge.com, and subscribe for that free ebook, Three Wishes, All You Desire Is Within You. If you have enjoyed this program, please subscribe to my YouTube address. Also, give me a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And until we speak next time, this is DiCarlo Eskridge saying have a great and abundant life.